welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to my channel welcome back to my life thank you for joining me for another episode of keep cooking with lee i'm lee as you can see and today we're going to be making a side dish for you guys you can tell by the title already what are we making i'll give you a minute to scroll down spaghetti squash yes jesus spaghetti squash is a winter squash it's a side dish it's a nice vegetable that sometimes people use for alternates when they don't want to use pasta they don't want to use spaghetti but today i'm putting a spin on it and i'm making something sweet salty and delicious just for you this recipe was inspired by a side dish that i had from a uh, Yes, the dog. Texas Day Brazil? No, not Texas Day Brazil. Longhorn Silver. How many of you guys are familiar with Longhorn Silver? Is it Longhorn Silver? Longhorn Steakhouse. Duh. Longhorn Steakhouse. Yes, I had it as a side dish and it was delicious. So if you, you, and you are in the mood to learn how to make maple butter spaghetti squash, then guess what? You're in the right place at the right time. So let's get right into the ingredients. You ready? Lego. And we're back, beautiful people, with our simple ingredients for our simple side dish. Here you see we have our yellow spaghetti squash. We have some Miss Butterworth syrup, my favorite. Mm -mm. Some pink Himalayan salt and some salted butter. And that's all you need to prepare this wonderful meal. I'm really excited about this dish because it's a seasonal item at Longhorn Steakhouse. So whenever it's out of season, I can make my own at home and guess what so can you so without further ado let's get started okay as usual first thing we're gonna do look at that look at that look at those skills those ball handling skills <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is wash our spaghetti squash we're not gonna peel it we're gonna leave the skin on it throughout the cooking so we're gonna just give it a quick little scrub it in quarters or halves this is a small size so I'm just gonna cut this in half it's um not as big as what I would typically get but um it's less people eating around here so I just got a small size so I'm gonna just cut this in half but you can cut it in whatever way you see fit in quarters whatever whatever floats your boat remember this neat trick I showed you guys how to keep the cutting board from sliding Totally old school, but it works. Wet paper towel. Bob lamp. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna cut it right in half, right down the middle. Watch those fingers. When you see these seeds, we're gonna remove all of that stuff. We don't want none of that. So I'm just gonna spoon it out. Like so. All of that. That's okay if you have a little bit left. Second verse, same as the first. Hope you guys are having an awesome and amazing day. Comment down below if you are a fan of spaghetti squash. I absolutely love it. I wasn't really a fan until I had it at uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. The best part about making spaghetti squash is very inexpensive. I got this from Aldi's for like $2.50. Very inexpensive. 
All right, let me get rid of this and I will be right back. Okay, good people, we are back. And as you can see, I've removed all the seeds from both sides. And as you can already tell, you see what the texture's like, the stringiness of it. And that's why they call it spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sausage, spaghetti squash <laughs> because of the texture. Spaghetti squash is also um, similar to butternut squash or acorn squash. I found out recently that it comes in several uh, colors. Other than yellow, there's white, and also there's an orange one. But this is the one I typically would use when I make this. So let's get to the next step. This is gonna be a really quick, quick video for you guys, and I hope you try it. So I got some margarine here that I'm gonna utilize, and I'm gonna just put a healthy amount in the middle of this. And I've already washed my hands. Make sure you're your hands are good and clean. And I'm just gonna go around it. Go around the inside and the outside, just for some extra flavor. You don't want it to dry out. There's gonna be some water that comes out of this anyway, so just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's Saturday, but you probably will be watching this video on Sunday. But uh, I'm having a good day. God is awesome. He's great and great to be praised. And if you don't know him, try him for yourself. <laughs> All right. That's it. Just like that. Just get that one in there, too. So I got my pan over here, and I'm going to put these in the oven. Got some parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, use some uh, foil for easy cleanup. We're going to cook them down like that. Let me wash my hands really, really quick and I will be right back. And we're back again with clean hands. Let me move this over. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Next thing we're going to do is put a couple of holes in this just to get the uh, the heat evenly distributed when it's in the oven, and then it'll help it to cook a little faster. My oven right now currently is on 400 degrees, and we're gonna pop these babies in the oven for about 30 minutes. 400 degrees for 30 minutes. You go ahead and blink your eye, and we'll be right back. Hey, beautiful people, remember to like the video, share the video, comment down below. Let us know if there's something that you'd like to see me make. I'll be happy to try it just for you. And if you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And also, the most important thing of all, turn on your notifications. Yes, you, you, all y'all. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you won't miss it. Now let's get back to this squash. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's take these guys out the oven. Okay. Put them over. That's nice and tender. That's what that's looking like. Nice and firm. That's what you want. Okay. Oh yeah, it's nice and firm, not mushy. Okay, what I'm going to do, can you guys see that? I'm going to put them in there just for about five more minutes just to get a little bit more color. Okay. Okay, so while that's cooking for five more minutes, I'm going to take the time to make our maple butter. I'm going with a half a stick of our salted butter. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Gotta have that butter. Gotta have that butter, baby. Brown sugar, bag. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> All right. Have half a cup of syrup. And that's all you need. You don't need much more than that. And we gotta dump that in, too. That's 
it. This would be great on pancakes too, guys. Your pancakes and your waffles. How many of you guys mix up honey and butter for your biscuits? We usually do that too. I'll make a pan of biscuits and melt some honey and butter and I'll drizzle it all over the biscuits. I have to try that recipe for you guys. It's really easy and I'm, I guarantee you like it. So we're just gonna let this cook now. I'm gonna turn the fire down, the heat down, the temperature down. Just kind of stir it up. Let it get good and incorporated. Just like that. Oh, that smells so good. I love Mrs. Butterworth's. But you know what? I can I can take either one, Aunt Jemima, butter flavor, but you know, I, I think for my household, Mrs. Butterworth's syrup is typically the favorite. Or you can even use real maple syrup. I'm not a fan of maple syrup per se. I think it's too thin for me and too watered, watery. It always seems too thin. It's mixed up and this is all that you have to do. Simple, quick, and easy. And it's gonna go so nicely on that spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna turn this down to a simmer. We are back. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Look at that. Does that look like spaghetti to you? Oh yeah, it's hot, so be good and careful. Be good and careful when you're handling it. And you wanna do this while the squash is still warm. And you're just kind of forking around. Yes, I said forking around. Forking around. Get your mind right, people. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna fork it around. Keep going, be nice and gentle. And again, this is hot, but this is cooked perfectly. Perfectly, you see that? Looks just like spaghetti. Just like spaghetti. All right, just keep forking. And all that, that lovely flesh. And spaghetti squash is slightly sweet, guys. Um, it's more of a texture. And spaghetti's a texture thing. And also, it's a light carb. So again, if you don't want to utilize pasta for your pasta dishes, then go ahead and try out spaghetti squash. You won't be disappointed. Okay. And that's looking like it's looking. I'm gonna get our um, maple butter syrup and I will be right back. Okay. And we have our maple butter. Look at that, nice and hot. And we're just gonna come in and drizzle just like this. I'm not gonna douse it. But you do want that flavor in there, so you wanna get a good amount. Bam. Just like so. And you're gonna come in with your little little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Not too much, because you already got butter in there already. So there you have it. Your maple butter spaghetti squash. Make you some. I'm gonna say grace and taste it up for you and we will be right back. Another look for you guys. Mmm, mm, it smells so good. And there it is. Let's say a quick prayer. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Long season. <laughs> Let's get our fork out, good people. 
All right, let's say grace and taste it up for you guys. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. We ask that you bless it for nourishment of our bodies, our spirits, our minds, oh God. Look on all our viewers and our subscribers. Bless them, touch them, keep them, help them, oh God, in a special way like only you can. Fulfill every need and desire. These and all blessings we do pray in the mighty and matchless and wonderful name of your son, Jesus. Thank God. Amen. Guys, I haven't said this in a while, but what time is it? Time to eat. What time is it? Time to eat. What time is it? Time to eat. Time to eat. Let's eat. <laughs> Ooh. But you guys thought you would never see that again, huh? We're getting there. We're getting there. Give you guys a closer look. This is hot. Ooh. See that steam? You see it? You see it? And hence the spaghetti. Let's go in and taste it for you. I don't want to burn myself. There it is. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is good. Salty, sweet. It's all about the texture, you know, because. The squash is not very strong in taste. It's a mild taste, and it kind of takes on the seasoning that you put it in. And uh, it's just really, like I said, a low carb side dish when you don't want to eat rice or potato. You got your spaghetti squash. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You gotta make this. Yes. So good, so good, so sweet and buttery. It's hot. Here it go, here it go. One last bite. I've never had mm, that butter and that syrup. Oh my goodness. So please consider making this if you've never had spaghetti squash. Try it with the butter, try it with the syrup, try it with honey even. But whatever you do, don't miss out. Try it. Don't knock it till you try it. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. You didn't have to click on my channel, but thank God you did. I hope it was good for you as it was good for me. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I love you. God bless you. And remember, cooking is an act of love. If you don't cook this for yourself, cook it for someone else. We are 